Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code. So today we're going to be solving leak code 11 container with most water. So we're given an array of heights. So this is a height one, this is a height eight, six, so on and so on. And using these heights, we want to see what's the biggest area we can form with a container that has a left height and a right height. So in this example, you can see that if we take this one, with a height of eight and this one with a height of seven, we can create an area. Uh, let's see how wide this is. One, two, three, one, two, three, seven wide and seven tall. So that's seven by seven and the area is gonna be 49. And they tell us that much in the explanation. So since we're given a list of heights and we wanna maximize the area, we can potentially just take every single combination, right? So check every left pointer and every right pointer. So my first thought with this is, what's the brute force way? What's the easiest way to solve this problem? Well, let's just try every single combination of left and right. Let's just try every single possible container we could make and see if it works. So let's say this is our left and this is our right. What's the most, what's the max area we can make with this? Well, let's fill it up to one and if we keep filling it up with water, notice how it's gonna spill to the left, right? So this left pointer is our bottleneck, right? We have a height of one and we have a height of seven. The minimum one is one, so you know we can't fill it up any higher. The width of this is also one, so we get, a, we get an area of one by one with water. And of course, if this one remains our left pointer, we can try this one as our right pointer. And in this case, the width is gonna be two, but the height is still gonna be one. Our, our, remember, our left height is only one, so our bottleneck is one, so we get an area of two by one. So I'm starting to notice a bit of a pattern, but let's just keep continuing with the brute force. So next we can try this area, that's gonna be three, Next, we can try this area, that's gonna be four. Next, we try this one, that's gonna be five, and we can just keep going. The height is gonna stay one because our left pointer has a height of one. Next, we move our left pointer here. And again, we're just gonna continue with the brute force solution. Eventually, we're gonna have our right pointer set here, and then we're gonna find our result, right? It's gonna be seven by seven, that's the biggest area we can do. And since we're checking every single combination, we know we're eventually gonna find the correct solution. The only downside is that this algorithm is big O of n squared. Now, is that good enough? I guess it depends on your interviewer. And let me just quickly code up the solution for that. So this is the brute force O of n solution. Let's first initialize our result which is our area, I'm gonna initialize it to zero because you can't really have a negative area, at least not in this context. And we wanna go through every single combination. So I'm gonna have our left pointer go through every single indice of height. So I'm gonna get the length of height, which is our array. So left is going to be at every single position at least once. Now right pointer, we can just have this one be always at least one position ahead of left. So left plus one, because it all, our right pointer, of course, always needs to be to, to the right of our left pointer, right? And for each of these combinations, we wanna compute the area, so let's do that. Area is gonna be equal. Uh, let me just remember how to, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes even I forget how to compute the area of a rectangle. So we're gonna do, width times height, so the width is gonna be right minus left multiplied by the height. Now, how do we find the height? So how do we find the height? Remember, we're focusing on what the bottleneck is, and by bottleneck, in this case, we mean the minimum height, because no matter how tall our right, no matter how tall one of the heights is, right, we could extend this to a million, but look how small this one is. It's just too small. The water is gonna spill out. So we care about the minimum height of the left and right pointers. So let's get that minimum. So minimum of height of left and minimum of height of right. 
So now that we've computed the area, remember we want the max area, so we can set our result equal to the max of itself and of the area that we just computed. So every time we compute an area, if it's the max, we're gonna update our result. And now all we need to do is return that result that we computed. Let's see if it works. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. We got time limit exceeded. So now we need to figure out how we can make this a little bit better. Can we get a linear time solution? So now let's take a look at the linear time solution, the one that will actually work in late code. So remember how we said that the minimum height is our limiting factor. We really don't want small heights. So let's see if we can try a two pointer technique. Now, I'm going to initialize the left pointer all the way at the left, and I'm going to initialize the right pointer all the way at the right. Why? Because we want to maximize the area. So why would I initialize them like, because we want the width to be as big as possible, because if this left height is super tall and this right height is super tall, then we've instantly found our result. But of course, in this case, that doesn't work we get an area of one by eight, I think. So that's obviously not the result. So what do we do? How do we update our left and right pointers? So the first area that we computed was an eight, which is our max because our initial max, because this is basically the maximum so far. So now how are we gonna update our pointer? Well, we're gonna look at what's the minimum height. This one has a height of one, this one has a height of seven. So why would I shift my right pointer when it has a height of seven, when I could instead shift my left pointer, which has a height of one and potentially increase it. So now left is over here and we have a height of eight. And lucky for us, we've basically found our solution, but I'm just gonna keep going with the algorithm just to kind of show you how it works. So now we have an area of seven by seven, which we know is 49. So our max area gets updated. Our max is no longer eight, it's 49, which we know is the correct solution. Next, I'm gonna take the minimum of eight and seven. Seven is smaller, so we're gonna shift our right pointer to the left. Now our right height is, looks like three. So the area that we're gonna compute is gonna be three by six, which is 18, but that's too small. That's not bigger than our maximum, so we don't need to update our max area. Now our minimum is three, so we're gonna shift. Now we have an eight by five rectangle, which is 40, but that's still not greater than 49. And, and now we get to a nice little edge case where both of the values are equal. In this case, it doesn't actually matter which pointer that we shift, but if you wanted to, you could shift the one that has a larger height coming. Like for example, like this height is at six, whereas this height is at four. We could sh choose to shift this one just because we know that a larger height exists over here, but it actually doesn't matter. You could shift either one. So now our left is six, so we get six by four, which is 24, too small. We don't care about it. Let's just keep going. So now our minimum height is six. Let's shift our left pointer. Now we get a two by three rectangle, which is too small. Let's shift our left pointer one more time. Hey, this time we got a five by two. That's a little better than before, but still not better than our max. And so this is basically the last rectangle or water container that we can form. It's gonna be four by one. And now if we try to shift our left pointer, we get to the terminating condition. We get to the condition that's going to end our code. So now that we shift our left pointer here, we're gonna get a left here, left and right are at the same position. So let's get rid of this. Let's get a solution that can actually work on leak code. And maybe you might need this solution in your interview if the brute force is not good enough. So once again, I'm going to set our result equal to zero. I'm going to do what I did in the explanation. Our left pointer is going to be initialized all the way to the 
uh, left, which is zero, and our right pointer is gonna be initialized all the way to the right. So these values are zero and length of heights minus one. And remember our condition for the loop is while left is less than right, because if they're equal, that's no good. And if, they pa if left passes right, that's no good either. So let's compute the area again. I'm just gonna copy and paste it from my above solution because that's what the brute force solution is for, right? You can learn the basic, the basic parts of the problem before doing the clever stuff. I can also just copy and paste the part where we update our result as well. Now the part that we have to change though is when we're updating our left and right pointers, we're doing it based on a certain condition. If the height at position left is less than the height at position right, we're gonna shift our left pointer to the right. We're gonna increment our left pointer because we wanna maximize both of these heights. Now the other condition is the opposite case. So if height of left was greater than height of right, then we would wanna shift our right pointer and we wanna decrement it. And the last case is if they're equal, right? That's our else condition. And remember how I said we could do either one if, uh, if they're both equal, right? We could increment our left pointer or we could decrement our uh, right pointer. Uh, notice how both of these are doing the same thing. So I'm just gonna condense this. I'm just gonna get rid of these two lines of code. Now all we need to do is return the maximum that we computed. Let's see if it actually works this time. Okay, of course I had a typo. So I had a S at the end of heights Let's run it one more time, and this time it'll work. So this is the actual linear time solution. The big O of N solution. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if this was helpful, and I'll see you pretty soon.